say that um, we don't have any emergency issues, but also we have emergency people at hand to be able to take care of that. Um, just like you just said, we're good with security. Um, this place is actually way more secure than I think everybody's going based off um, ideas and not realities. So um, I think that's it for now. Thank you, Mr. Shola. All right. Um, I think we'll just open the floor for question. Please, if you have question, signify by raising up your hand. You introduce yourself, the media house you represent, and who you are directing your question to. Okay, sorry. Okay, um, David, we have something to say to us. Thank you guys for being here. You know what I'm saying? Gentlemen and ladies of the press and other people present. Um, main, you know, reason for, you know, us um, holding this press conference is to talk about the show, of course, to let people know, you know, you know, what did, what did you expect? Um, this is a fresh show of its kind. You know, people don't really do musical concerts in uh, TBS and this thing, except shows like Experience. You know what I mean? So this is the first time like an urban artist is coming to do a show here. So I felt like it was very important to you know give out information, you know, to people coming from far. It's going to be very very safe. I've been hearing, I haven't really been hearing much though, but you know just to some people's concerns about you know the safety because if you look at the prices of the tickets and the tables, they range from all the way up to all the way down. So every type of David fan you know should be expecting you know to be out here i just visited the cp i woke up very early this morning 9 a.m you know went to visit the cp i had a meeting with the cp and you know he assured me you know he's going to even deploy extra extra men on that day you know i said but me just being here i've come here twice already and normally when i'm in when i go out on the you know road is normally very very rowdy and rough and i'll be here you can see behind is not even that many people as well so i just really wanted to you know thank people for you know streaming the album is doing very very well people love it and just come out and let's just celebrate i have all the artists on the album flying down you know we have a lot a lot of surprises as well and it's going to be a fun day and it's going to be i feel you know a start of musical shows at the tbs you know once we show them that you know production safety and you know everything can be executed it's going to be a good day i can't wait thank you thank you please appreciate the man okay um my first question goes to alaja yeah eco fm so i want to ask uh i want to ask the video so i've seen a lot of video of you when you going on stage you know the energy the the vibe now i want to ask when you are going on stage when you are on the staircase then on the stage what's on your mind what is what do you have in mind you know there is you have some things in mind when you're planning for the show there's a it's a different feeling when you are you know off the car coming into the venue then when you're getting on the stage what 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 comes to mind at that time um it depends and it depends on the kind of show you know what i'm saying it depends so if it's like a wedding or like a birthday party like we know that you know we're just about to have fun but if it's like a major show so like something like this something like this something like the you know doing the o tools arenas around the world is sometimes like 10 minutes before i get on stage i like to you know have a long time you know to just get yourself together because you don't want to get there and miss a step because once you miss one step you can destroy the rest of the show so it depends on what the exact show i'm doing you know what i'm saying but i take every show seriously whether it's 100 people, whether it's 10,000 people or more. You know, every artist should deliver the same type of service every time. But definitely, like, before, like, big shows, I like to have small time to myself to, you know, gather myself, stay calm, and then when we get on stage, talk to Lion. You understand? Know yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Duke. I but definitely, if you watch my shows, you know, we break it down into different sections. Sometimes I like to, you know, stop and interact with the crowd sometimes i like to you know bring people on stage i think like a, a concert i did like a couple years ago i brought some people on stage gave them opportunity to you know invest in their business and you know i think years years later one of the 
one of the boys, I think, flew to London for school. He's doing well. So I always try to, everybody knows every day of my life, whether it's on camera or it's not on camera, I always try to better the life. Even people I don't know, the people I know, the people that work with me. So definitely, I'm sure somebody will chop something that day. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it's going to be full, uh, mainly a musical show. Uh, but definitely, we're going to be giving gems out throughout the whole performance. Um, I'm working so hard on production. I want it. I want it to be different. You know what I'm saying? I want people to wake up and be like, "Yes, they see the change. They see an improvement." Because there's always time to grow. No matter how big you can get, no matter how big you are, there's always time to grow and learn. Beyonce is still the learner. So get ready. Let me go and prepare. You can see we're building the stage from days before. You know, not rush, rush stage. So it's going to be an amazing show. I can't wait. Like I said, we're still rehearsing a lot of artists. I'm going to bring out surprises on the show as well. So yeah, just get ready. Energy, energy, energy. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adiyaya from Pulse Nigeria. So the video, we dropped the most anticipated album in the history of Africans. And you shout out everything Africa in one time. So you can hear me. Oh, sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. So, David, you dropped the most anticipated album in the history of Afrobeat. You shattered every streaming record in Africa. I like you, I like you. <laughs> in one week, yeah, in one week, you broke every single record in one week. So, um, you've also mentioned a deluxe, that we should expect a deluxe. So, my question is, where should we expect a deluxe? And we flex my soul, be on the deluxe. That's number one. And number two, number two, I mean, this, this, this is fucking crazy. This is like 50k people that have filled up this place. So like you you're about to do like maybe the biggest show in West Africa right now. Yeah. And I like this guy. <laughs> I mean that speaks to yeah, that speaks to your I mean who you are as the zero zero one, the number one artist on the continent. I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so I mean if It's you, okay, let me answer the two. <laughs> so after like if you what next? I mean you've done it all, you've won it all, you've won it all, you've done it all, you've seen it all. So what should we expect after this? Um <laughs> Yeah, definitely. The, the, the deluxe is going to come out. Um, but funny enough, um, people love all the songs. So, like, we're trying to just figure out how we're going to promote all the songs on the original timeless and definitely move on to, to the deluxe. You know, definitely. And yeah, man, we're going to fill this place up, man. And it's going to be amazing for sure. I'm going to break records. I'm going to show people that, you know, can do it easily. Yeah. Come on. Please, two more questions and we're out of here. Please, okay? Please, thank you. Now to find out if you do go like me too. Hello viewers, my name is Ite Oluwa Oleyimi. Please surprise to Moyo Entertainment TV on YouTube. Thank you.